I'm going to have to redo this video that I have done about a year ago. And the title of this video is Avoid the Harvest. What do I mean by this? I'm going to be more detailed on this because I realized there is still a lot of people that don't get what I'm saying. Maybe I have gone too deep, okay? I'm gonna keep it on shallow waters and see if you could understand what I'm saying, okay? So here's, here's what I mean, okay? INFJ, Awakened INFJ way of explaining things. You round it up and you make sure everybody understands what we're saying out here. So what exactly do I mean by avoid the harvest? Avoid the harvest at all costs. Avoid the hive mind harvest, okay? The vegan diet, the carnivore diet, okay? The keto diet, the fruitarian diet, the omega diet, all these bullshit, they just create nutritional deficiencies in your body, okay? It means you're not getting the whole spectrum of nutrition. And taking it to a next level, okay, it applies to politics, to everything in life too. You know, they seem to be degenerating you on purpose. Okay, notice what animals eat. Okay, the lion is a carnivore. He's on the carnivore diet. The monkey is on a vegan diet, okay? The chickens are on a grain diet. Even the cows nowadays are on a grain diet as well because of the, the GMO corn that they feed them, okay? So now you're starting to see you're starting to see the harvest that I'm talking about. So how do you avoid the harvest? By ignoring it, totally ignoring it. Snap out of it, man. Freaking slap yourself in front of the mirror. Or flip your finger in front of them. You know, every time you see something like this in Google, you know, take your right hand, holding your left, holding, holding the cell phone in your left hand, flip the fucking phone, man. Flip the fucking phone, you know. Say fuck you, phone. Fuck you, media. Media is me die. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. This is an acronym. They use acronyms. The powers that be are using acronyms, are using algebra, are using deception to deceive you, to deceive you, to remove Eve from your presence. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Isn't that what we're seeing in marriage? Is the marriage, is the, you know, uh, the rates of heterosexual marriages increasing? I don't fucking think so, man. I think it declined. It went way lower. That's why they legalized gay marriage to cover up for the low marriage rates. Okay? They legalized the illegal immigrants, okay? They open up the borders. Obama did this, okay? Open up the borders so they can get in because they know that lots of dudes, lots, lots of guys went expat once the recession hits, okay? Once the recession hit in 2008, I think men, retired men have been figuring out this thing like since the 70s, since the 80s, since the 90s, okay? More and more of them, you just search YouTube, okay? Type in American expat. Who do you see the most? It's men. It's men out there, man. Men are fucking clever, bro. We're not stupid, man. Like even these NPC guys, you know, they're, they go expat once they find out, you know, that their money, because they're on a fixed income. You gotta think about this, okay? Their retirement income is fixed and it's going up maybe just a little bit every year but the cost of living is way higher okay 
they couldn't afford it anymore so they say you know what i'm just gonna go outside of america okay i'm just gonna live in southeast asia i'm just gonna live in mexico i'm just gonna live in colombia brazil or wherever that lets my money where, where my money or my fixed retirement income or, or my fixed you know uh, disability or my fixed pension goes further okay like why would you not do that if you're in a fixed income you have to be a world-class dumbass to not do that shit man you know i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna freaking I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to your house and call you a dumbass if you didn't do that shit you know that's stupid man if you're in a fixed income th there should be no reason you should be living here you know and that's logic that's pure logic even a five-year-old will tell you that man even a five-year-old will will tell you you're a dumbass for a freaking you know I'm, I'm joking around but you see what i'm saying it's even a kid even a fucking teenager okay even a 15 year old will call you a dumbass for not moving out okay it's not unpatriotic to go out also okay L let me explain the shit okay we got people like mctow you know expat uh, chris Cantu, okay uh pension they're, they're thinking about okay well, actually, Chris Cantu already left, okay? And uh, Luke Brandon, he already left, uh, McDowell Expat. And Venture is thinking about, hey, you know, which, what location am I gonna, you know? And if you're trying to save money, if you're living on a fixed budget, why would you continue living in a dollar charging country? Why don't you go to a country where your money goes further? Because you're living on a fixed income, man. You know, and your your uh, your retirement will go up, okay, gradually over time. But the thing is, is is very low. The, the the increase is very low, okay. So, so you see what I'm saying? And you have like a short amount of time, you know, after you, if you waited until retirement until you relocated and shit like that. So you know, so what what I'm saying is avoid the hive mind, okay. So the hive mind will say, no, you're gonna stay here until you're 62 or 65 and wait you know go to your nine to five simp job work every day work hard you know invest in your 401k blah 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 and the freaking the, the economy is no longer guaranteed okay there's no guarantee your job is not a guarantee so you know, what i'm saying is you have a plan b okay if you stay here you only have a plan a but if you if you look into you know saving money for your passport like looking looking up other locations to live okay outside of united states you don't want to live in united states then just go to puerto rico puerto rico is like right you know right outside like freaking right next door or some shit something happens to you you know uh, you get a heart attack or some shit you can just fly in okay you can you can uh they, they also have good um by the way they also have a good medical uh support right there in uh puerto rico okay you go in the cities and you know it's developing it's you know it's, it's getting better okay that's my point brazil you know mexico you know it's there, there's medical help right there also so you see what i'm saying and man you know you're living stress-free overseas because you're not dealing with these organic portals man you may, might be dealing with them but there's not many of them okay i know because i grew up overseas man i go to airports i i go to, to connecting flights before I even reach the Philippines and I, I can already tell the energy is, is different okay there's less NPCs there's more real people okay more real humans okay so you know hope you learned a lot from this video peace out